Six foot six inch lefty Jordan Montgomery ready to go to Jose Altuve who gets booed as usual here. He's gone five for nine in the last two games including a home run. Off we go at game five. He swings away at the first pitch and how good does that feel for Jordan Montgomery? Well you hear the crowd and the crowd knows that is step one to a successful game for the Rangers. Mauricio Dubon stands in. Up the middle on the first pitch, two pitches, two grounders to Simeon and two out. How about that? Two pitches, two outs, and Alex Bregman is coming up. Bregman gets a five ball to left field. Back goes Carter on the track. Get the wall. Goodbye. Alex Bregman gets the Astros on the board. A first inning home run. Well, the Astros finally break through against Jordan Montgomery. Bregman does it. I mean, this is what you wanted to draw up. You were looking for 15 to 18 outs. His pitch count is perfect. Yes, he gave up the one run, but your offense at some point has to wake up. Tucker flips one into right field, and he's got a leadoff base hit. Here's one away. And that's out number one. Tucker goes back to first base. Jeremy Pena grounded out his first time. This one's trying to shoot. Seager, Simeon, dropped the ball. Safe. Bruce oh. Bochy wants to challenge. That hit the heel of his glove. He never had control of that baseball. It hit the heel of his glove and popped out. After review, the call on the field is confirmed. The runner is safe. Uh, the Rangers have been playing impeccable defense all series long. This is their first real blunder. Tucker tagging going to third. The throw will go to second. But Maldonado makes the second out of the inning, and the Astros have runners at the corners for Jose Altuve. Altuve bunts it out in front of the plate, picked up by Heim, throws to first in time. Altuve trying to bunt for a hit, but basically bunted it right in front of the plate. Did the Rangers a favor there. So one out of nobody on for Nathaniel Lowe, who flied out to left his first time. He gets to this one, sends it deep down the line, threatening the ball. That ball is history. Nathaniel Lowe has tied the game with an opposite field towering home run to left. Lowe, who has looked lost and came up empty on fastballs in the middle of the zone, catches up to this one and ties the game. Jose Abreu climbs into the box. Abreu last time didn't, didn't even come close to any of the breaking balls that he was able to throw. Now the pitch. And that is hit sharply and hits off the chest of Seeger and kicks it to center. That will allow Bregman to score. Alvarez tears for third. Two to one, Astros. An in between bounce that Seeger can't corral. Astros jump back in front, two to one. So Montgomery issues his second walk of the inning and of the ball game. And now Bruce Bochy are walking out of the dugout to the mound. So McCormick flies out to shallow right for the second out in the inning. And that brings up Jeremy Pena. Up the middle, Simeon a diving stop, saves the day! Great play by Marcus Simeon, taking a base hit away from Jeremy Pena and keeping another run or two off the board. And so he settles for the 90 feet, first and third one away. It comes onto the mound here, all of the infielders are there. There's a, just a little bit of a stirring out of the Houston bullpen. The Rangers have been very aggressive on the first pitch. Adolis Garcia 0 for 2, ground out and a fly out. Swings and hits one high and deep into left field. McCormick is back at the wall. It is gone! Gone Adolis Garcia who slams his bat down midway between home and first. Now starts to take his trot. A three run. Jimmy Jack here for Adolis Garcia to put Texas in front. Two. And Adolis able to turn on that 95 mile an hour pitch. Four to two, Rangers lead the Astros bottom of the eighth. Brian Abreu into the game for the Astros, making his fourth appearance in five games in this series. Rangers looking to add on, and Evan Carter aboard with nobody out for Adolis Garcia. Hey, oh! The first pitch here, and it gets right in Maldonado's ear. The pitches are clearing in the American League Championship Series. And more important than ever right now that everybody keeps their cool, understanding the bigger picture of this series and this season. Well, you can understand why he's so hot. That's a 97 mile an hour fastball up near the shoulder. A lot of it might have to do with how long he walked after he hit that home run. But of course, the Rangers and the Astros have done this before back in July in Houston, and Maldonado was right in the middle of it. So the umpire's not convinced that that one just got away from Brian Abreu, who only hit three batters all regular season. And Dusty will end up going, too. And he looks right Abreu. And Dusty has a case. I mean, this is a tough call for the umpires. 
I mean, you could, like you said, you know, no one's going. Why would you want to put a, a second runner on and have first and second nobody out? Dusty uh, still hanging out. Uh, he's. I mean, I understand the argument Dusty's making. What's going on here with Dusty? It looked like he was thrown out of the game, but he's still in the dugout. But it looks like the umpires are telling him, "Let's let's go. You're out of here." First postseason hit for Yiner Diaz, and that'll bring up John Singleton. Pinch hitting for Martin Maldonado. 3-2 pitch. Ball four. Tied one reaches for Houston. And up comes Jose Altuve. Four times he's been up there today, John. He's 0 for 4 on five pitches. The 1 High fly ball to deep left field. Back to the wall. Altuve makes the moment again. Astros lead in the night. It's gone. It's gone. Jose Altuve gives the Astros a 5-4 to four lead. How do you like that? Most of the Astros players out in front of the third base dugout celebrating and ready to greet Altuve. Altuve is the lone star once again for the Astros. It's the Rangers' turn with 8-9-1 coming up against Presley. I run at the plate in the bottom of the ninth. The bouncing ball left side and a leadoff single for Garver. Steady drip of drama here in game five. One, one pitch is ripped and passed Altuve in the right center. Smith makes the turn and hangs on. Back-to-back -back singles from eight and nine in the lineup to start the bottom of the nine. Does this game have one more massive swing in it? Top of the order and Marcus Simeon. 1-1 one, one pitch. Simeon rips it to short and it's caught. Kessinger, fresh into the game, makes the play. Kessinger, his first postseason action with an outstanding play for the first out. Their best hitter in the biggest moment. Seager hits the ball in the air. Center field. Dubon drifting back. He's got win. And Smith still at second. Two gone in the ninth. It's going to come out to Carter and his, his ability to stay calm as Carter plays like he's 35 years old instead of 21. <laughs> Swing and a miss, and the Astros win this classic. The Astros have gone from down 2 on the series to a head 3-2. What a win for the Houston Astros. They're one win away from a third trip to the World Series. The big lefty on the mound, the Game 4 starter, Christopher Sanchez. I mean, the Diamondbacks have a couple guys at the corners right now, and they're ready to score. Rivera had some opportunities in yesterday's afternoon yeah. game. Let's see if he can come through today with two outs. That wall line, center field, a base hit. In the score is Walker. Emmanuel Rivera delivers with a clutch hit early. It's a two out RBI single. The Diamondbacks strike first in game four. Oh, that'll move Marte to third. And Hoffman matches up against Gabby Moreno once again. The 2 2, and he shoots one to right field, a base hit. Marte will score. Moreno with an RBI single. Two to nothing, Arizona. Kyle Schwarber leads off 2-0 Arizona. 3-2 pitch. Schwarber a drive into right field. Way back there. So long. Kyle Schwarber. His fourth home run of this NLCS. That home run for Kyle Schwarber now gives him the most among left-handers in postseason history. Real Muto to second base. Marsh is 0 for 1. He grounded out to shortstop his first time up. In the air, left center field, that ball's hit well. Both outfielders on the run, and this is gonna get down. A one hopper off the fence. Real Muto scores, and Brandon Marsh delivers the game's tying run. Ryan Thompson is coming on. They're loaded for the Phillies. Big chance here for Philadelphia to grab the lead. And friendship here, Alec Bohm. Moment of truth right here. See if Bohm swings at the first pitch. Thompson deals, Bohm does, bouncing ball. That is a fair ball, throw to the plate. Uh. And it's in and out of the glove of Moreno. Turner is gonna score as well. A wild play. Time out here, time out. Two runs are in on a bouncing ball up the third baseline, and the Aaron throw by Rivera makes it a 4-2 game. Craig Kimbrell entering this game in the eighth inning. Under its second, Gurriel with one out. Oh, Alec Thomas, who's got two postseason home runs, comes up here. He deals. Thomas in the air to right field. That's back. Castellanos on the run, and we are tied! Alec Thomas takes the run.
ride of his life. Listen to this place. Bedlam at Chase Field. Alec Thomas off the bench. Gets a two-run homer to tie it off Kimbrough. To Jose Alvarado, the hard-throwing left-hander, who will face the right-handed inning, Gabby Marino. With two on and two out, get ready to do some damage here. In the air, left center. That's going to get down. Coming in to score, Marte. The Diamondbacks have the lead. Gabby Moreno puts them in front, 6-5. to five. Mundo Sosa carries the tying run for the Phillies. Has not been a hotter hitter in this postseason than Trey Turner. Phillies down to their last strike. Two and two. Turner, a swing and a miss. He struck him out. Seawald closes the door. And the Arizona Diamondbacks have come back and won this ball game 6-5. They have even this best of seven series.